Hey guys, how y'all doing and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to use the Reflex Pro camera app. This is basically my, my go-to camera app anytime I'm not taking a long exposure. And I'm going to start off down here in the bottom left hand corner where you see this lightning bolt down here. That's your, your flash. You can turn your flash on and off. Um, there's also a flashlight here if it's dark outside. You can turn that on to uh, brighten up the scene a little bit. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to leave that in the off position. And the next icon we've got here is your timer. This uh, allows you to set a 3 second, 10 second, or a 20 second delay from when you hit the shutter button. You really only need to use this timer if you're taking a long exposure. So I'm not going to use that in this video. The next icon we've got up here is the level. And basically what that does, it just tells you if your phone's level or not. You can move it side to side here. And uh, when the green lights are on, you're level. That's where you want it. Okay, so the next one up is your grids. You can turn your grids on and off here. You can use your, they give you a couple of choices. There are nine spaces there. You've, you've got some, a few options. You just, you know, pick which one you like the best. I like the uh, nine grid, so I'm going to leave that on. And then right up above the grids, you've got your selfie camera, which, you know, we don't really need to use that uh, for this tutorial. And uh, so now on the bottom right hand section, we've got your ISO selector. And normally you want to keep this um, set to about as low as you can get it. You know, the higher that you go is the noisier your image be, becomes. So you basically just want to keep that as low as you can get it. And then the next up is you've got your shutter speed. You can uh, increase and decrease your shutter speed here. Um, if you're taking a long exposure, you want, might want to go with a low number like 1 over 1 to 1 over 30. And if it's really bright outside like it is right now, you might have to throw on a, new, a neutral density filter. And if you want to have more detail in your image, then you would go with a higher number like maybe 1 over 500. Okay, so let's set that back to where it was. Next up is your exposure. Basically, this just lets you darken the image or brighten the image you know, depending on how dark it is. I'd recommend using that over the ISO selector. Double tap the screen. Then the next one we've got is manual focus. You know, you can slide your slider up and down, move it back and forth to see when you're in focus. You know, maybe you want to have, um, just say like, you know, the foreground and focus and the background out. You can use the selector to decide what you want. I have found that this app does a pretty good job if you just leave it on autofocus. So we're just going to leave it right there. Next up is your white balance. You can move your slider all the way in one direction to cool down the image or all the way in the other direction to warm up the image. I usually like to go with the warmer image, but honestly, um, if you're going to edit your videos, um, you can just you can change that later. It doesn't really matter where you have it. Okay, so the next thing we've got here is your focus peaking. And basically what this is doing is, is telling you that everything that is green is in focus. And uh, you can use your manual focus slider, like I said before, to adjust this too. You can see the image is blurry. There's no green. That's, you know, <laughs> telling you that it's out of focus. So you want to have as much green as in here as you can get. I think that looks pretty good to me. Let's double tap on the screen to get back to where we were. And the histogram is next. I'm tapping on it. It's not doing anything. There we go. Okay, so basically what the histogram is doing is just telling you if you're clipping in the darks or if you're clipping in the, the brights. The darks are on the left and the brights are on the, the right. You can use your shutter speed to adjust it. Really what you want to do is you want to keep this histogram like right about where it's at, somewhere in the middle. You see if you move it all the way in one direction, it gets too bright. And you can see that white line that tells you you're clipping in the, the whites or the brights. If you move it all the way to the other direction, you can see it also moves to the other direction. And now we're clipping in the blacks or the darks. Um, yeah, so you want to keep this histogram somewhere in the middle here. As long as, in, as it's in the middle, you're, you're doing good. And the next up is... These, these are your zebra stripes here. These can also, you know, tell you, you know, like what's too dark and what's too bright. You can move this slider around here to... Let me see if you go up too high, you can see where the zebra stripes are telling us that we're, we're really clipping in the brights. So you want to bring that back down until your, your zebra stripes are pretty much gone. I think that looks pretty good there. Let's double tap on the screen again. And next up is... Um, this is actually for long exposure photographs. You can see you can turn this off and on right here. When you're t if you're going to use this app to take a long exposure photograph, you can decide how long you want to go. It starts off of a, at a half a second. Let's see, I think it goes all the way up to, yeah, two hours. 
Uh, you can go into bulb mode too, which basically what that means is you can just use the shutter button to stop it whenever you want. You could just you could run it forever if you wanted to. <laughs> so I'm going to turn turn that off. We're not going to be using that in this video. Let's see. The next thing we've got down here is your lens selector. That's my ultra wide lens. That's the telephoto lens, and that's the wide angle lens. Right below that, that's just kind of taking showing you like what the la last image was that you took. Up here you can choose between RAW, ProRAW, and TIFF. I usually go with TIFF or I use ProRAW too. See when you're in ProRAW you can get up to 48 megapixel. Let's see what happens if we go to uh, TIFF. We still have 48 me megapixel RAW. We do not have 48 megapixel. So I'd, I'd recommend you go with Pro ProRAW or TIFF to keep your four, if you want to get a 48 megapixel image. Then the next thing we've got here is our you just got some settings in here you can scroll through here and look at this stuff they've got some app tutorials in here a lot of good information okay let's get back out of here okay so now that we've gotten all that out of the way let's just go ahead and set up to take a, a shot here I am gonna adjust my white balance um, you know like I said before I like a <laughs> I do like a warmer image and everything else I'm just gonna leave alone and now all there is left to do is to hit the shutter button let's do it and there it is. <laughs> Got some ducks out there. That's a nice image. I like it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next next week.